Although 3D models are suitable for presenting your design, and you can use the flat shot command to create 2D views looking at the model, there are times when you need to look at the inside details of the 3D digital prototype. In those cases, you need to create section views. AutoCAD enables you to create both 2D and 3D section geometry. One way of displaying 2D geometry from a 3D model is to create simple sections. A simple section is a non-associative 2D representation of your 3D model at a given plane you define. When you need to section one or more 3D models and you want versatility for creating and editing the section, you will want to create the sections using section planes. You can use these section planes to view internal sections of 3D models, create 2D cross sections of models, create 3D cross sections of models, and generate 2D geometry containing mass property information. After a section plane is added to the drawing, it can easily be edited through simple grip edits. In an architectural environment, you can use section planes to create views of a structure. For example, you could place a section plane just above floor level to see the floor plan, or use a section plan to show clients the contents of a room. Once you've created a section plane, you can generate 2D or 3D sections and elevations of your model. When you are creating a section view or model, there are a number of settings available for controlling what displays and how it should display. The actual insertion of the section view or model is just like inserting a standard block. Because not all sectioning requirements are planar sections, the Section View tool enables you to draw the location of the section plane. As I stated earlier, 2D and 3D sections can be generated from a section plane. This time, I'm going to create a new solid model that is sectioned at a location of a section plane. The same section plane can be used to generate multiple section views and models, each with their own settings. If you edit a section plane, you have the option of having the section views update or stay the way they are currently. If you want the section view to update, you simply select to replace the existing block with the current configuration and settings. So, in this demonstration, you just saw how you can further leverage a 3D digital prototype to get additional useful geometry for documentation or analysis purposes. You also saw how easy it is to create section planes and section views or models from those section planes.